All right. It says we're live. And I'm going to wait. Hey. I'm going to wait for um, my mission control to jump on and make sure they can see us. Last, last week we had a, it said it was live and it wasn't for a little bit. So, all right, somebody's on here. Let's see. I'm gonna wait and see when Krista gets on. Hello, everybody. All right, we got, everybody's hopping on. So I think I got us going. So, um, hello everybody. I am live from Ackworth today and um, Krista was not able to come with me. So, number one, she's usually the tech guru. So, um, I am, hey Judy, I am winging it and I decided to use my phone today <laughs> instead of the iPad and tripod and microphones and all that. So, hey Bill. So hopefully you guys can hear us good. We're inside today. The acoustics are great in this place. Um, and so since Krista couldn't come, you know, I, uh, I wanted to invite a friend who, oh, hey, Krista, good, thanks. I wanted to invite a friend who um, knows a lot more about this than I do. And uh, so we are here. This is Historic Preservation Month. And so History Loves Company today is focusing on and all this month on places that have done a fantastic job preserving our history. Last week, you know, we went to the Root House and talked to Trevor uh, in Marietta. And then uh, now we're here in Ackworth. So for those who don't know, um, Ackworth wasn't always this pretty. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous, but I grew up here. I grew up in Ackworth. I went to North Cobb High School and... Um, so this is kind of hometown for me, but even though I've devoted the last 20 years of my life uh, to Marietta history, mostly, um, this is home. So today I have Mr. Mac Turner with us. Hey, Mac. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and he is going to um, kind of give us a breakdown on the whole story of how we got to this beautiful spot. I'm going to turn the camera around for just a minute. And I am inside the replica of the old train station, right? And we're gonna hear about how and why it's a replica, not the real thing. And look at this gorgeous exhibit here. I'll stand up for just a minute. All of these gorgeous exhibits and, and exhibit labels, history. So much to learn while you walk around here. Now, we are not gonna go through every bit of the history here today because I want you guys to um, come visit it. So, you know, I mentioned um, that I'm from here and I'm in Ackworth all the time. I still live, I live in Kennesaw, but um, this is my first time in here. So, shame on me. But now that I'm in here, it is stunning. And I wanna encourage everybody to come after you um, listen to us today. So, Mac, um, I guess my first question to you is, um, and, you know, is, is just the, the origin story of the depot, because I remember, I don't know how many years ago it was, you have to tell me, I distinctly remember on Facebook when the Save Ackworth Depot Facebook group started, and I remember seeing it and trying to read and keep up with it and really, you know, loving what you guys were starting to try to do. Um, I think Davis uh, McCollum was involved in that, and... Um, but what, tell us how that kind of got started. Well, that effort started in 2013, a long time ago. And uh, what happened was, uh, I'll give you a little history on the old depot. We have a picture of it right over on the wall. Okay. Uh, that depot was built here in 1893 and it thrived here until the late sixties. And I guess the interstate, when the interstates were built, all the railroad depots started to go down. Mm -hmm. And in 1970, the city of Ackworth decided to, they had been given the building by the l and Railroad. They decided that uh, they no longer needed the building and they wanted to build a parking lot. Uh, of course. So instead of destroying the building, they put it up for sale and a local realtor, a guy, a friend of mine, uh, who's passed away now, Floyd Clark, mm 
Mm. I think he bought the depot for about a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. But the wow. deal was he had to move it. Okay. Yep. So they didn't demolish it. They came in and cut it in half. Wow. And it was a big depot for a small town. It was like 112 foot long, yeah. which was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, we, we still don't know why it was so big. So they cut it in half and literally moved it one block from where we're sitting here okay. on Wind Street. And okay. They, they blocked the ends where they cut it and uh, made storage buildings out of it. Mm. So it sat there. Half of it's still sitting there today. If you walk out, oh, on the really? if you walk out on the porch of this depot, you can see the roof of half of it. No today. way! I might have to go look at half that a little bit. Half of it was sold to make furniture out of. The, okay. Those the lumber in it's all heart pine mm. and big beams and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so anyway, that's what happened. It got moved in 1970, and about 2013. Some of us on Facebook decided that we wanted to try to see if we could do something about it. Mm -hmm. And I, I think somebody dared me one day and I kind of took it personally. <laughs> so we got after it. And we spent two years trying to see if we could buy those buildings. And uh, we exhausted all the efforts. We raised a pretty good bit of money, but we just couldn't raise enough money to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So that effort ended in 2015 and we pretty much thought we were through. Mm -hmm. But uh, I give all the credit to the city. Later that year, you know, we, we got a pretty good bit of publicity out of that. There was a couple of big write-ups in the Maryland Journal. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the city, later that year, when we were getting about ready to turn our 501c3 in, informed us that they were building what I think was a 100-year project here. They not only built the depot in this plaza, they built this overhead bridge out here. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. And changed gorgeous. the landscape of this city forever. It, truly. So, I mean, it's it's gorgeous so. down here. If y'all haven't been to Ackworth in a while, um, it's just such a booming, fun shops and rest the restaurants are fantastic. I just ate at that 1885 yeah, for really the first good. time the other night. Fantastic. Um, so, so 2015, you thought it was done, and then... Then what? Well, at the crisp, uh, that would have been in about the summer of 2015, after probably a two or two and a half year effort. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't quit until there was nowhere else to go on it. So that year, I think it was at the Christmas party here in town, uh, we got invited and we donated a couple of monuments there out here on the mm -hmm. plaza right now. Mm -hmm. And they broke out with an easel set of plans for everything you see here today. We were, of course, we were over the moon excited. Yeah. We didn't have any idea they were going to do it. So, uh, was the plan? It, oh, sorry. I was, I was going to say, was the plan all along to rebuild a replica of the depot, or? Well, we don't no. call it a replica. Oh, to start with okay. Because this is the fourth <laughs> depot that's been in this town, and the oh, other three okay. served the other three served the railroad, uh -huh. and this one serves was built for a history center. So there it's you kind go. of a building on its own. We That's true. All like right. I like that. Replica, I like that. It's okay if you call it. <laughs> but I'm not calling it that. I like that. All right. Yeah. Well, um, this, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to show the, what the original one looked like over here. And you said it was 1896? Yeah, the 1893. There we go. Look at that. That's the original one. It really looks similar to what Marietta's original freight depot was uh, the pre-war one that um, got tore or was well demolished after it got a train ran into it from the train wreck do you remember that yeah, <laughs> yeah i think that was in the 70s seven yeah but, it was uh, 74 i think Christican. the only reason that we know why that depot was such a huge depot mm -hmm. somebody said they read that maybe it was like halfway between chattanooga and I don't know if it was Savannah or somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know. One of the big towns mm -hmm. might have been Macon. Yeah. It might have been like a central station because, you know, if you go to Kennesaw, yeah. they got one about the size of this building. Yeah. But that was a huge building. Yeah, it really was. Uh, it really so. was. And and so the city took it upon themselves to really get behind preserving the history and getting a... a I know for a while there was talk of being a welcome center. Sometimes it was... I remember hearing talk about it being off of the... Mm -hmm. Right off of uh, 75 <laughs> over there where the Cowan uh, farmhouse is. And how did they eventually, do you know how they eventually decided to well, stay Well, actually here? what happened, we were we explored every lot in town. Trying okay. to figure, if, in other words, we could have bought those buildings. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to put it here. We were just going to put mm -hmm. it somewhere 
make a history center out yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I thought. But what, where we're sitting right here was 10 parking spaces okay, and the caboose. Right, right. And when we got our 501c3, uh, we had a meeting with the city council and everything, and they said they would give us this lot if we could raise the money mm -hmm. to disassemble that building and put okay. it here. Of course, it required engineering plans. It was going. It was like going to be like a three hundred thousand dollars. Oh project. yeah. Oh yeah. And, it, and the buildings didn't. Uh, they didn't qualify for any uh, grants mm -hmm. because they'd been moved off the original site. Oh, so the money was sure. going to, have to be raised sure. through, uh, okay. through all. Uh, you know, private that funds. makes sense. And that's always, you know, often um, the problem is just finding the funds to move something. You can give something for free. I know uh, the Aviation Museum in Marietta, um, at one point, they had been offered a C5. Oh, really? Here, take our C5. But do you know how easy it is to move a C5 <laughs> <laughs> from one end of Cobb County to the other? Or not even one end, one end of Dobbins to the other, not even Cobb County. The, the infrastructure they were going to have to, you know, to move and take down was just too well, much. To say the truth, I don't know how they moved those depot buildings. Because, <laughs> uh, in other words, the, part of the depot was here where we're sitting, and the rest of it went across that street wasn't there. Oh, wow. You know, I mean, they, were, yeah. they made a railroad cross. Yeah. There, but it, and, and when they cut those buildings in half, mm -hmm. if you go down there where they're at to turn, that's a real steep turn. I don't know how they... How in the how world they, they did it? I would have liked to have seen a video of yeah. how they got those buildings. Yeah. And then that, that grade drops off real steep there, too. I'm going to have to go look at it. Yeah. So so we've got our wonderful museum here talking about a lot of the, the stories um, that you guys have found. And a lot of those stories, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of those stories have come from your interviews. Is right, that right? right? I mean, right. you guys have been on top of it doing just hundreds. How well, many interviews? Done hundreds. Oh, We've I feel like, Tim, okay. Actually, Tim Richardson was here when you got here. He's hiding. He, uh, <laughs> he pulled up the something the information on his phone. It says there's yeah. 147 videos there. Yeah. What that is, uh, the videos that are in here are the short videos. Okay, yeah. Words, Edited you, versions. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it, it's just like seven or eight minutes, but if you go to our YouTube channel, you see the long ones. Okay. So these are the, these are, these are quick with pictures. And everything. Sure, sure. Maybe so, we can get a link to their YouTube channel on here. I think we've got like here. 65 of those, and then, of course, we've shot, uh, been inspired by you guys. We shot some out in the field. Yeah. And, uh, our, our amateur self, you know. Well. And, uh, some of them have been pretty popular, and <laughs> some of them hadn't been. I'd put us in the amateur category, too. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. No, Enjoy but those, it. I just, I love those videos. And um, and I know Dr. Scott, Dr. Tom Scott, was helpful in that as well. And uh, he, he's helped us just well, immensely know, over the years. We know so. and love him like y'all yeah. do. Mm -hmm. He's been huge for Ackworth history. Yeah, too. yeah. He's Cobb County the, history. He's done all these interviews. Yeah, it's wonderful. And, uh, it's wonderful. And he's done a lot for... Marietta and Kennesaw, the interviews right. wise as well, but and a lot of those are housed on um, Kennesaw State University's uh, archives, their archives and rare books, their website. You can watch those videos there too. So um, he's a great man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the videos have been a huge part um, of your preserving the history. Also, you know, I've noticed through the years of walking around downtown, um, Logan Park. And this, do you, what do you call this new area down here that you guys have developed? Is that still Logan Park? Yeah, that's Logan with, Park. With yeah. all of the um, interpretive panels, there's history well, panels well, all over. Well, no, those are, uh, where the panels are at, are at the new Doyle Hill Park. Okay, he was the Doyle first black, Hill. He was okay. the first black councilman in Ackworth. Okay. And that's right beside the Rosenwald School. Okay, and, yes. Uh, so that park just opened uh, last summer. Okay, I don't uh, know if I've Kennesaw been over State, to that did the same type storyboards as you say see here yeah. and but those are weatherproof they're outside okay they're outside and that park gets a lot of people over there looking at those and i just talked with tim we had a meeting yesterday with the city mm -hmm. we're going to be putting a lot more of those out that is wonderful really like oh they do they really yeah. do and everybody wants especially with the pandemic people want to get out now you know even right. if they weren't before even during the pandemic a lot of people were getting outside to get out go somewhere but even now people that weren't going outside their right. home they all want to get out and um, we've seen you know an increase in visitors at the museum but also just the bike trails and the square walking around um one of those did i see you guys are going to do one on the old hotel is that right, right. yeah uh, 
for you who are not familiar with the Ackworth Hotel, it was right across the street from where we're sitting today, mm -hmm. and it took up that whole block. Yeah. It was a huge building. It didn't have a lot of rooms, but they were big rooms. I think it only had about 40 rooms. Mm -hmm. But the way I understand it, it was a real elegant hotel. Mm -hmm. So we, Kennesaw State's working on a monument now. We're going to have one right over there, right where you awesome. cross the street mm -hmm. to tell about it. And, awesome. And we also, yesterday, we talked about putting quite a bit, more, quite a few more of them. Good, good. So we're going to have quite a few more of Oh, those. that is wonderful. I, um, I don't remember the hotel. So when did that come down? That hotel was, we've got records back. Our newspaper articles back to 1868, uh -huh. and it was torn down in 1961. Okay, yeah, that's uh, a little before my time. I, I, I remember <laughs> it. I was I vaguely, you know, yeah. I'd have been like Is there 15. a picture of it in here somewhere? Uh, Let me see if I see one. Well, you see it's, one come up on that screen. Because it is beautiful. Well, Let me see what else we got around here. Um, just some of the pictures of families. Yeah, when I, my, most of my memories um, of Ackworth are from the 80s and 90s. Right. So, it was, it kind of looked not dissimilar. There? Yeah, look at that. Oh, it changed. Well, there's a picture of the depot right Here we there. go. Oh, the that side of the street. Yep. Oh, Sue McCall's sixth birthday party. Lake Ackworth cross dedication. Now, that cross is still out there, isn't it? And does it still get lit? I wonder. I've never seen that. We're going to put some new lighting in it. I don't know if that's been done or not. Now, I know that the the lake itself is historic, and the lake, the, the building that's out there mm -hmm. is, is historic. It was right. built in the 50s, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it was built right after uh, Herman Talmadge came up, and they built that, uh, dedicated that building, I think, in 1953. That's right. Okay. And uh, is it still used today? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. the beach house. Yeah. yeah. It's All still right. used. Yeah, it? yeah. Well, I didn't know if anybody on here had any questions about Ackworth, but um, we've got the man who can answer them. Anybody who wanted to share any stories, um, feel free. We've got a good crowd. Maybe. maybe. Good crowd. Maybe. Oh, well, if, you know, this is what we do. If we don't know it, we just make it up. <laughs> or we write it up later. Um, but yeah, no, this is, this is a treat. And, um, I think you guys have just done a phenomenal job of, of preserving the history here. Now you do collect artifacts outside right. of what's on display. Oh, do you, yeah. do oh, you yeah. store them? Isn't it over at city hall? Is that where you guys yeah, have we, the space? We, we've got an office at city hall and we've, mm -hmm. we've got several cabinets full of artifacts there. So and we've also got a display cabinet at city hall. Oh, okay. Right as you go in the library. Oh, I haven't been in there. The reason we okay. only have a small display cabinet in here, this is a small building, and mm -hmm. we didn't want to clutter it up with display cabinets. We got, uh, of course, that's got some pretty neat artifacts in it. It sure does. Let me go look over there. I didn't even stop to look at the artifacts. Coates and Clark. Now, that one is over there behind the baseball field, isn't it? Yeah, if you look up right above the picture, there's a picture of the middle. Oh, there it is. Do you know that we have pictures of when they um, closed that down before they tore down all of the buildings and houses inside the mill? I need to send you guys those. Well, they didn't tear them down. Well, but some of them, they, well, maybe they didn't tear them down, but they, um, there's nobody living in them when they took the pictures. Um, yeah, well, I'll have to show you. You can probably tell me what they are. Uh, how about the Civil War, somebody said. What's our Civil War history here? Well, we don't have probably as much as you would think, but of course the the first depot was built on the railroad here in a, probably in 1850, and it got destroyed in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they built a smaller one back, I think, in about 1870, mm -hmm. and uh, it lasted until they built this huge one in 1893. But we don't we don't have a whole lot of Civil War stuff. That's one thing we I guess we've kind of got a little past that date. Well, we you know, you do still have some homes that yeah. survived. Oh, yeah, they, a lot of your that, homes, oh, yeah. where a I lot of cities, you know, their homes were destroyed. I think, there was, I think there was eight or ten houses here mm -hmm. that, that survived the Civil War. Mm -hmm. They're still here. Yeah. Here's it. The Lemon House, right, right at the end of Lemon Street here, mm -hmm. is probably maybe the oldest house. Okay, there. it's still standing. Yeah, and most of them are privately owned. Right. Um, oh, yeah. What's the house that's a uh, Vince? 
place down here. There's a there's an old house on the other side of the tracks. That's an event place. Uh, uh, I've been to a couple weddings there, but I can't oh, remember. Are you talking about the Logan House? Logan House? Mm, Over Logan know. Park? No. It's on down the tracks almost till you can't go anymore. Hmm. Well, we'll so. find it out. <laughs> but you know, also, Sorry of course, that. no, oh, that's thanks. okay. But you know what else? Also, as far as Civil War goes. Oh, you're talking about probably the Cedar Plantation. Cedar Plantation, Cedar that's plantation. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cedar Plantation. But Bridget Row. Okay. But as far as Civil War goes, um, of course, you guys can, you know, lay claim to a small part of the Great Locomotive Chase. Mm -hmm. Those guys mm -hmm. came through here, and um, there's some history there to their story. And um, and there were there were definitely soldiers that came through here. Right. You know, even though there weren't the battles right here. But here's one part of the Civil War. My great great grandfather John Harbinger Turner signed up for the Civil War here in Ackworth. And it was spelled A C K. Oh yes. We found a lot of paperwork back in those days that had a K in it. So my well, cousin found his where he signed up for the war, mm -hmm. and he signed up here in Ackworth. <laughs> That's cool. Because our family lived up around Altoona. Okay. So well, yeah. How far, I guess, do you consider Ackworth going? Is it all the way up to Altoona? Well, here's your real neat uh, item, mm -hmm. Ackworth. Consider, still considered a small town. Mm -hmm. It goes into four counties. That's right. Bartow, Cobb, Paulden, and Cherokee. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can find another small town no. anywhere that's got the, that's this small that's got four counties. That's, yeah, you know, I, I did know that because at one point I lived in Ackworth and Cherokee County, and mm -hmm. I grew up in Ackworth and Cobb County, mm -hmm. and they called me for jury duty in Cobb County one time when I was living in Cherokee County, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I got out of it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, you're right. I don't, and it is interesting how they divided the, I mean, the county lines would have been there before the, you know, the city incorporated. So why they just kind of pushed it out, I don't know. Yeah. But there's just all kinds of history up here. Um, even if you go out towards Mars Hill, do you guys, are you, is your, pres are your preservation efforts mainly you know, revolving around the downtown area, or do you kind of go out to some of the other communities? Well, uh, we were trying to get some information from some of the other counties. That's came in kind of slow. Mm -hmm. Most of our efforts have been concentrated. Of course, we just got through with a practically year-long project on the Ackworth Christian Church. That's right. Oh, and, how uh, could I forget that? That's we, the big uh, thing, we, yeah. We, we, of course, the pandemic came along about the time yeah. we were negotiating on that, but mm -hmm. we just had the grand opening of that uh, a week uh, ago, wasn't it? What is it? It's no? August, April 29th. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And we had a good crowd there. So that church is open for business now, and it looks brand new. Now, you so, say open for business. Is it open just for anyone to go in and see? It's open for anyone. Okay. It's open at 11 o'clock on Sunday for services. And okay. And it's got a sign that says, Welcome All. Wow, that's so wonderful. So go on up and check it yeah. out. It's, it looks fantastic. Where is it exactly? Which church is it in relation to the depot here? Well, if, if you walked out here on the sidewalk, you can see it. Oh, okay. It's, uh, Let me see. Well, I'd have to go outside. Yeah. But, but it's, yeah, it's it, north. It's on the other side of the tracks. Oh, on the other side yeah. of the tracks yeah. there. Okay. It, yep. Uh, it's a beautiful the, church. If you look right here, one of these things. Yes. That church was established in 1858. Oh, wow. That's the one. Okay. And it was established not on the site where it is now. It was established right down the south side right here. Oh, right here okay. Hill. Okay. And, uh, but it got taken out in the Civil War also. Okay. And then they built back up here. Now that's interesting because they didn't always burn churches down. You know, well, most. I think they burned it from what I would able to understand. That makes sense. They would use it for the wood. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then it moved down to the site where it is now in 1875. It burned to the ground in 1899. And they built back in 1901. Mm-hmm. And then it's been standing on the site. And that's been quite an endeavor to, um, to, to redo the church that you guys have been working on. I mean, it's... <laughs> what was the we hardest were, we part? Were in it and we were just going to try to help them put a roof on it. <laughs> That's it. And then what happened was, if you want me to tell the story. Yeah, tell the story. The, uh, we found out later, Tim Richardson, who was kind of coming to some of our meetings, who just left, he's a Ackworth City Alderman. He was doing some research at City Hall one day and found out they owned a house here in the city of Ackworth that they had owned since 1959. 
And all the I could, city did. The, no, the oh. church. Oh, the church it was did. A okay. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. And uh, it was in pretty bad shape too. I mean, the church was almost condemnable. It was mm. in terrible shape. So we talked the church into uh, selling the house to help rebuild the church because both of them. Well, there you go. And actually, we uh, we finally got them to agree to it. They signed the contract. And about two weeks later, the house. They, they got a contract on it. Wow. So that's, that's how hot real that's estate great. is. That's great. It here is. In sure is. So we took that money and started on the church in October. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we knew we had to, we raised about, I don't know, forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000 from local citizens here mm -hmm. to finish it up. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of That's how it phenomenal. Came. But uh, it, was, it was a nonstop effort from, what, October the 12th, I think, till mm -hmm. we opened uh, April 29th. It's just, it's so impressive too that you guys i mean i realize you're a nonprofit now you've got that but truly everything here was such a real community effort you know yeah. a lot of times in marietta and other places in cobb county you know you've got organizations that are well established like cobb landmarks or you know um georgia um the georgia trust you know they're kind of leading and pushing people and prodding people and doing all the heavy you know the the paperwork and and all of that um but you guys really have took, We've taken been really it upon fortunate. yourselves. We raised a lot of money for some of these projects just because we got a lot of great people that mm -hmm. love the history here, mm -hmm. and they've, uh, mm -hmm. they've really stepped up. I gotta, I mean, I applaud them. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we had a question: um, Was it always called Ackworth? Was it always named Ackworth? No, it was. Uh, it was before it was Ackworth. It was uh, Northcutt Station. Okay. And it was, we I, know I think, that name. I think it was considered a watering hole. <laughs> and it was just, uh, wow. Uh, Ackworth was only chartered in 1860. Okay. And actually, that church wow. was here before it was chartered. Yeah. That was 1858. It was here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was called Northcutt Station. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, Northcutt. Now, we know that name well in Marietta. We've got Northcutt Stadium and. Um, lots of north cuts uh, in our history. So, and I know they're related somehow, but um, well, north cuts actually had a lot to do with the commerce here. You see that mm -hmm. cotton mill mm -hmm. that was started by Orlando Autry and J.J. Northcutt in 1905. Okay. So they were involved in. Uh, they were a pretty involved family here, and I think one of them actually had something to do with a hotel at one time. Probably. So they were movers and shakers. Probably. What is on your list of, what's next, I guess? And, I, and someone asked you this on Facebook, and I saw your answer, and you came with a whole list. But not, I don't want all that specifics. Mine is specifically, not now, and maybe not in the next five things, but what's the next building that you want to try to save? If you could. If you could do anything and try to save a building around here, what's the next one you would, you would do? Well, believe it or not, we're not really into saving buildings. We, okay. we got into that project with yeah. the uh, with the church. Yeah. Kind of, like I say, we were going to help them put a roof on it, and all of a sudden we come into all this money selling the house, and uh, it's really hard to get involved saying mm -hmm. you don't save a building unless you mm -hmm. have somebody who's willing to step up and donate mm -hmm. a lot of money. Well, and, were y'all uh, involved in the Logan Farmhouse? No, no okay. that, was, that was all the city. That was all the city, yeah. okay. But do they ever, I mean, I would imagine you guys have a good working relationship with the city as oh, yeah. far as, oh, yeah. you know, if they're trying to decide, you Let know, Let me say this right now. I think Ackworth, and I said this at the opening of this building when mm -hmm. I spoke here, I think they got the best city leaders maybe in Georgia. I mean, these they brought this town up to one of the most desirable mm -hmm. towns in Georgia. I agree. I mean, the real estates went through the roof here. Mm -hmm. Stuff wants to come here all the mm -hmm. time. They've got golf cart community now. Yeah, yeah. And they, they're developing across the, what they call park side, since they put this bridge okay. in. Okay, yes. Where they can access both sides. Yeah. And they got new restaurants coming in. It's really, this town's booming. It is. It really is. And it's it's in a large part because of the preservation efforts. and. Yeah. And not only with this group, but even going back, you know, 10, 20 years with the business owners who have really tried to revitalize the, the restaurants. I still remember distinctly when Henry's opened. And well, that... That's been a shot in the arm. That was a huge shot because all of a sudden we all came for Henry's, but then all the shops would stay open. And you could even get, while you're waiting on your table, bring your drink in to stores and shop. And, you know, and that, and that, that was huge for the city, I remember. Henry's a real um, character. I know him real well. <laughs> but he's, he's, uh, he's, 
he's uh, he's been a shot in the arm. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he I does think, a I lot. I think him being a character is part of the, the <laughs> part of, of the you know. fun. That's right. He but is they, fun. They have great food there, and it's mm-hmm. usually. A lot of times you come up here this time at night, you can't even find a parking place. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, you, you can't. The, all these restaurants are doing. Yeah. Good. Well, I know next, um, for real next, is um, more interviews, I think you said. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to be working on that. And um, Now, you let me know, you know when you start getting into the 40-somethings and you want to hear our experiences, because I can help you with that. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm going to put I'm you on the list now. I'm getting to where I'm old enough to be interviewed. If you notice, uh, Amy, this uh-huh. uh, kiosk thing here. Yep. It's got a visitor information center. It's not yes. just for videos. That's so true. You nice that side of yeah. it. it. tells you the hotels, restaurants. Really? And so it really is a visitor information center. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They well. not advertise it that much, but it has got a, yeah. lot, it's got a lot of stuff. On okay. It. Oh, that's great. That's great. Um, okay. I don't think yeah, this. No, this. I was just going to ask about this. This is the original scales that were in the 1893 depot. Oh, wow. And, uh, okay. If you go look at that, if you go over and look yeah. at that storyboard, it shows you what they look like when, when we found them. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. They were taken out of here, in case y'all didn't hear it, in 1970. And put in a shed, and this group, um, Save Ackworth History Group, restored them. That's fantastic. Now, did you guys, y'all restored a printing press too, didn't you? We, uh, or you were involved we, somehow in that? We were involved in it. We didn't restore it. The same guy that restored it restored uh-huh. the scales. Okay, Clement that's what Bob. I thought. He does a lot of stuff for Kennesaw State. Uh huh. And he got he restored these scales back to the original color. That's amazing. Those scales wow. were like eighteen seventy wow, scales. Wow, look at that. And they still work. Wow. They, they still work. And am I gonna yeah, so if y'all if no, no I'm not going to, we but if I them. were to stand in the middle of that, it would take my weight. I, I, I assume. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna I try it. Them, I'm right? not gonna try okay. it, but <laughs> <laughs> but if so, you know, <laughs> I know it. The uh, the only place I can think of in Marietta that I know of that still has scales like that, where it's un- it's still in the original building, is the Denmead building on the square, which now uh, on Mill Street, which um, now has Tycoon. Mm-hmm. Have you? I don't know if you've been in there. They've got a set of scales too. You might could um, compare where them. Where is that? On Mill Street in Ackworth. Right across the railroad tracks, there's a restaurant you called mean Mar- Tycoon. I mean Marietta, I mean Marietta okay. sorry. <laughs> Where am I? Um, yeah, in, uh, in Marietta, Mill Street, and it's Tycoon. But they have a, a and it looks very similar to this. I'd, I'd be interested in comparing them and seeing if they came from around the same time period. One of my uh, vice president of our organization, Betsy Brown, gave me this had to list. You better go over it because you'll get in trouble uh, if you don't. She said oral histories, which we've yep. already discussed. The depot construction, which we were part of the and a part of that, and uh, kind of consulted on it a little bit. The Christian Church, Doyle Hill Bench. We donated one of bench like this to mm-hmm. the park, and these okay. are not cheap benches. No, they're nice. Uh, we give scholarships away every year. We we have a car show that we raise money for scholarships. This way, oh. we gave two uh, one thousand dollars scholarships to high school to, seniors. Yes. Are they specifically from North Cobb? Well, or North where? Cobb, Altoona, okay. uh, Brookwood, Christian, and uh, I think there's a couple more. I don't have the list. In what do they have to do to get it? Well, they, they have to be interested in history as mm-hmm. a minor or something. Mm-hmm. And, uh, All right. Well, I have, I have a, a rising junior at Altoona, so I'm going to keep that in mind. There you go. <laughs> uh, the hotel monument, which will be put up sometime this summer. Mm-hmm. The many videos, we got inspired by y'all to do those. We've done, I don't know, 10 or 12 of my own. Mm-hmm. But we did. We go around some of the sites around town and do those there. On, by the way, they're on the Save Ackworth History Foundation YouTube channel. There we go. We're going to find a link uh, and put it on here, a link to that. Uh, we started the Nancy Smith Maxwell Award last year. Oh. And Nancy Maxwell is a lady who was born here in 1930. She still lives across the street from the house she was born in. Wow. And she's got such a great memory for history that we established an award in her name last year. That will be an annual award. Aww. And uh, we hope that that's, that'll be later on in the year. 
Uh, it says depot bench. I guess we must have donated one of these benches. Here. <laughs> We're sitting uh, on it. Gallery boards and depot. That what that means is we just have a lot of input, a lot of these pictures uh -huh. flyers that we've collected. Did y'all? Um, did you get Kennesaw State to do these boards as well? Yes. yes yeah. They did. Okay. Yeah. We, we work really well with. The, mm -hmm. I mean, we, they've been a good partner for us. They too. sure have. They're working on. Um, their, uh, the Lemon Street project in Marietta, they've been yeah. instrumental in that. Uh, the grand opening of the depot, which was in 2019, we were all here. And, uh, some of us spoke at that. Mm -hmm. uh, the monthly programs at Roberts School. I know Krista's been over and spoke a couple of times. Yeah. Maybe we'll have you over there. Sure. I remember um, uh, I went to we're school. we to start those back. At the, is the Roberts School McCall? Is that no, McCall? Robert's no, School where's Robert's School? Railroad. It's right. It's exactly right behind the Christian Church. Oh, on, right. On, on school. Right, school. right, right. I went yeah. to. I actually in the old school. Was that Ackworth Elementary where McCall yeah, is? Yeah, okay. That was, was Ackworth Elementary. For about two months, our school. I went. I, my elementary school. I went to Baker Elementary, and um, they were still building it. And so for two months, we had to come over here, and we had right. classes in the basement over there. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I started that school in 1952. <laughs> in I think our classes were, then tell me if this sounds right. I feel like it was either under the cafeteria or under the gym because I remember hearing a whole lot of commotion over us the whole day. And we also worked with Altoona Charities on some, uh, you know, some charity events and stuff. So, mm -hmm. so Betsy, I. Wait a minute, you skipped over one. Citizen of the Year. She put that on there. I wasn't going to uh -huh. say Uh-huh. I know you weren't because it was you, wasn't well, it? Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but anyway, that, uh, but uh -huh. we, we, I guess we've done a lot, but it's hard when you're involved in this. You don't think about all the things you've done until you see it written down. We, that's we're right. We're constantly doing something. Though. It's And it's never-ending. You know, preserving history, that's the good and the bad of it is it's, you know, it's never ending. There's always going to be something else, always something that becomes more important as, you know, if it if, if something happens to say a building or a person, you want to get a story before they're gone. Mm -hmm. Um we and that sort to, of we thing. We tried to get the elderly people, you know, in early and mm -hmm. and for, unfortunately some of the people that are on, in these interviews have passed away. Yeah, and yeah. That makes them even more. Oh, valuable. they're priceless. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'd recommend all towns mm -hmm. that, that, if you can to do all your Mm -hmm. Because once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. Know. That's right. That's right. I'll tell a little bit of story about the Ackworth Beach. We were talking about it a while ago. Mm -hmm. I think Herman Talmadge, I saw something the other day. They had a barbecue there in 1953, and it was $2 a plate wow. to get a barbecue. Wow. So I started at the Ackworth Grammar School in uh -huh. 52. So we used to go down there and have picnics at that beach. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us kids in this town had never been anywhere. <laughs> so now we walk out of school and a, a couple of minutes There's a later, beach. so we really thought we, we, that's thought pretty we cool. were really special. I mean, you know? that's pretty nice. So we don't cool. have a beach in Marietta, right. so that's pretty good. So that beach, is, that's been a real yeah. great shot in the arm for this town for a long time. Now tell me this, thinking about the time period when, it's, when it opened, um, I'm assuming it was segregated. Is that right, when it uh, opened? I, I don't know that. Okay. I, I have to go back. Yeah. I, 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 you know... The, the black folks had their own beach. Okay. And it was George Washington Carver Beach, which okay. was up on the edge of Bartow County. Okay. On I, I don't think at that yeah. time a lot of black people went to that beach. I guess mm -hmm. they all went to George Washington Carver. Yeah. That would have been yeah. back, you know, in the early 50s. Mm-hmm. The, the Ackworth Lake was actually built in like 1950, mm -hmm. but the only, the beach house came two or three years later. Okay. So okay. It was yeah. built at the same time Lake Altoona. They built, it was built the same time. Okay. Lake Altoona, they backed water up in it in 1950. In 1950. Now, what year did you say you graduated from 64. North College? 64. Okay. Um, that's just a few years before me. <laughs> but have you, I'm sure you've been back over to the high school. Or you drove past it at least. It's there, changed well, a there, lot. I went there to one reunion. I oh, think it okay. was a ten year fifteen year reunion and I've never been back. Really? Oh, been. we've got to find a teacher to get you in over there because that would be the kids would that would be great for them to there's hear some of, of your stories. Hotel. Oh, there's People part of the hotel. The well, I wish we could oh, it's gone now. But look at that. Lovable toys. You yeah. had a toy? Lovable toys? Mm -hmm. Toy factory here. That looks like a picnic. Coates and Clark. Oh, that's that. That space is still still looks like that. There's the, um, there's the Ackworth Pharmacy back in the 1940s. Okay. That is a neat uh, 
scroll there. It's got some it really sure great is. pictures on it. We need to do something like that. Um, yeah, y'all need yeah. to have something like that in your museum. I know, I know. So you're you need to tell me. You need to tell me how I get the money for it. That's what I need to know <laughs> off camera. Do like me, go on Facebook. <laughs> That's what I should do. Say, hey, we need this. Somebody pay for it. <laughs> um, let's see. Van said, "Oh yeah, Van Worthy. Um, yes, we did in the '60s. Went to George Carver Beach and fished. Yep, there we yeah. go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you guys came all the way up from Marietta and went all the way up to um, Alatuna, Lake Alatuna. Yeah." So, Let me uh, say something about the integration part. Yeah. We have a video on here. I think it's Larry Griffin. Mm hmm And he was one of the first two African Americans to start the North Cobb. I believe it was in 1966. Oh. And he tells yeah. about that experience in one of these oh, videos. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that and for sure. And it's really, yeah. it's really good. Yeah, I, mean, I bet it is. he tells about how standoffish and mm -hmm. everything it was. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the, the way he tells mm -hmm. it will almost bring a tear to your eye. It's really, it's really a... Well, Van, who is, uh, who's commented on here, she was uh, the first one to integrate Wheeler High School. Um, and, what year and would, that, would that have been? Well, Van, I know you hear me. So I think it's 67. No, it was later than that. Marietta was 67. We'll see if Van lets us know what year that is. But, but it's my understanding and some of the, the research that I've done that um, Marietta had a little bit of a more, um, I don't want to say easy, but a little more smoother transition for their students than some of the kids out in the county. Right. Um, than they did. She said, uh, yes, we didn't have a choice if we wanted to go. 1969. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, they didn't have a choice of that. Yeah. So um, I think Larry says in that interview that his, he'd go home and tell his dad, how, I guess, how bad things were. They felt isolated. Mm -hmm. And his dad just said, hang in there. Things will get better. Mm -hmm. And he said they did. Yeah. So. Yeah. I know it was um, tough on Van, but she's, she's a strong woman. So I, I know it made her part of who she is today so and I'm sure it did for him too and, and that and and I think it's important that you guys are preserving those stories as well mm -hmm. um a lot of towns have not have not done that and uh, we're like all I say, if you go better. to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. Save Ackworth History Foundation mm -hmm. YouTube there's all kind of interesting videos mm -hmm. on there and what makes it so interesting Amy it's like when I did my interview I talk about when my third great grandfather came here in a land lottery. That's crazy. So I mean, yeah. in 1832. You're a rarity. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, you really. And <laughs> so I mean, and then my, my, his son joined the Civil War here. Yeah, So yeah. we go back not only to what yeah. I'm talking about, but on back to mm -hmm. the, their history, which yeah. goes back about 160 years or something like that. That's amazing. Well, I think I think we're good here today. I, if, uh, if anybody has any more questions, feel free to ask in the next oh, five seconds. Uh, finished for me. Look at that. Hopefully, we've reconnected. It was trying to reconnect. All right. Well, thank you, Mac. I appreciate everything thank you're you. doing for my hometown. And welcome home. Yeah. Thank you. I know. I, I really appreciate this. And. Okay. Um, and we'll, well be back I hope up somebody here. Somebody get some good out of it. I was a little bit nervous about doing this. Uh, Never done a Facebook live. Everybody's nervous when they they end up with me. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I don't have Christy here to um, keep me in line. No, so. I've enjoyed it. So uh, yeah. Hope somebody gets. Some oh, good. let's see. Thank you, Kristen. Next week we'll have a pre-recorded video on how to properly clean a tombstone to finish Historic Preservation Month. And I did not. I I did not tell everybody that stars are enabled so if you guys want to go back and and give us some stars um maybe if we get enough stars i can get one of those fancy tvs like you guys have <laughs> and we can put some more uh, interviews up in marietta but, i will um, say krista y'all need to start doing these interviews i mean yes I, 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 you really do yeah krista you need to do that you, hear, you need you to get on me, that krista. krista come on you don't have anything else to do <laughs> all right thank you and uh we'll talk to you guys later